Now sometimes when you put an eyeball can above a sink area such as this, you might want to put that on a separate light switch. But in this kitchen there's only one existing light switch. We're going to go ahead and tie that light that's going to go up there. We're going to put those with these other ones that we're going to install over here. So when, And basically we're going to do that because this kitchen area is so small. Okay. If this kitchen area was larger than this, we had a wide open area, we'd put that light over there on a separate switch. But because we don't have that much room in the kitchen, we're going to go ahead and tie it in with that existing light switch. You don't necessarily have to put an eyeball can right there. We just decided to go ahead and do that. We're going to use LED light fixtures and we're pretty sure that there's going to be plenty of light but just in case there's not, we'll be glad we put an additional one above the sink. And because we're doing all this work, it's not going to take much longer to go ahead and do that. And by the way, when you get LED lights like this, make sure you get the style that are set up that are dimmable. You have some LEDs that are not dimmable and some that are. See this here? It says dimmable, 100% to 20%. Okay, so, and if you do something like that, you get that dimmable, then, yes, you've got to get, we're going to install a new dimmer switch over there, and you want to make sure that is dimmable too. Let's see there, works with dimmable LEDs, CFLs, halogens, and incandescent. Okay, some dimmable light switches are not LED and CFL approved. Okay, so make sure you get the associated materials for your project.